क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा Hello friends in the previous topic we have discussed about the cathode rays as well as we have also discussed about the discharge tube and now let us talk about what are the properties of the cathode rays so those are So friends in this topic let me talk about the properties of the cathode rays and those are as follows So talking about the first one that is the cathode rays consist of the electrons this is the point that is what we have covered in the previous topic and we have got to know that is cathode rays are made up of electrons and we have also discussed that cathode rays travel in a straight path that is from cathode to anode and talking about the other point that is they cast shadows of metallic objects and causes mechanical motion of small spin wheel placed in their path indicating the cathode rays are particles we understand that is cathode rays are the particles or they are negatively charged particles so whenever a particular metal object is been kept in their path obviously whenever they will pass through the metal unless the metal sheet is very much thin suppose if a heavy metal is basically placed in between their path so what will happen is the shadow of the metal it will be projected that is on the opposite direction and that is how basically we could find that is the cathode rays can't penetrate the heavy metals but yes it also indicates that is the particles that are made up of electrons obviously this cathode rays are basically made up of particles that is electrons so this indicates that is electron are nothing but they are particles so now let me talk about the next point the next point is they produce fluorescence on striking the glass wall of discharge tube so this is the experiment that is what we have discussed in the previous topic also where we have got to know that is whenever the cathode rays they hit the glass tube obviously they will produce fluorescence or they will the glass will glow so this is the property it is of the cathode rays and now let me talk about the next point that is the cathode rays produce x rays when they strike a target made up of heavy metals so whenever the cathode rays obviously the electrons and obviously we have to provide a very high voltage in that case basically the cathode rays it will bombard on the heavy metal particles and that is how basically they will produce the x ray so this is how basically the x ray is been produced from the cathode rays only and now let me discuss about the next one the next point is these rays that is the cathode rays are deflected by electric as well as the magnetic field the reason behind that is because the cathode rays obviously they are made up of electrons and electrons have a negative charge on it and that indicates that obviously that will have an interaction with the electric field and we understand that is suppose if electron obviously you understand that is it is having a negative charge obviously either it will get attracted towards the positively charged plate it will be attracted towards the positively charged plate or it will be deflected towards the negatively charged plate so this shows that what is the influence of the electric field on this particles that is the cathode ray and that is how basically this and obviously the cathode rays they have an effect because of the electric field as well as the magnetic field and now let me talk about the next point that is they produce ionization of gases cathode rays being a particle obviously they can turn a particular gas into a cation or into an anion so that shows the property of the cathode rays that is to ionize the gas and now let me talk about the next point that is they can penetrate through thin sheets of aluminum and other metals so that also indicates the property of the cathode ray and now let me discuss about the next point that is they have a constant e by me ratio that means charge to the mass ratio of the electron and that is constant the reason behind that is because electron has a specific mass and electron has a specific charge so that's the reason irrespective of the cathode from which the cathode rays is been produced or or irrespective of the gas that is placed in the discharge tube even in any case the e by me ratio that is the charge to the mass ratio it will be constant for the cathode rays so this is all the points that is what we have discussed in this topic so that's it thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this topic very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you so much